Like, if we get the whole thing in today, either Bubba or Kevin Harvick are going to win. Those are my predictions. Bubba Wallace, Kevin Harvick, uh, I should just throw Joey Logano in there, and Kyle Larson, too, because Kyle Larson had a two-mile Kyle. I, I'm not even going to. I'm going to go back to the race and see if it's back on yet, which obviously it's not. Oh, what? Well, boogity, boogity, boogity. It just can't. I'm really lucky I decided to do that, because... It would be better if a wreck happened right as soon as that. Well, they're about to wreck, and there it goes. There it is. That's the slowest crash. Oh, jeez. What the heck? It's the worst crash in NASCAR history. What the heck? At first, it was just such a slow, stupid thing. And then all of a sudden, Austin Cindric's like, yeah, why don't I just nose straight into the wall? Jeez. Well, at least the window next down. I don't, I don't even know what just happened. Somebody was going like two miles an hour, and then, I guess I know which car's Austin Cindric now. But that was just funny timing, since I said it'd be better if they wrecked as soon as I said that. And then, like, I saw this happen right after that, and I thought that was the wreck. And there's where it starts, right there. And Austin Cindric, oh, he was already spinning around before it even, ooh, damn. Come on, side draft. I draft him, Ross. Come on. Liam Byron and Cross Chastain and Kevin Harvick. Yeah. Oh, Harvick's going to pass Byron, too. Okay, maybe not. Christopher Bell would win stage number one, which it took an excruciatingly long time because of that stupid-ass, dumb-ass, big-ass wreck in turn one. He's on fire. Caution. What is it with Cole Custer and catching on fire? Get out of it! Smack it into the barrel, something. A flat left front shouldn't be blowing the car up. Yeah, stop it. Oh, she's get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Honestly, I'm up to do this till my storage runs out. Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Man, that was close. Yeah, come on, Harvick. You're my pick for this race. Go get him, Harvick. Go. Yeah. Yeah. But I don't care if your teammates with Danny Hamlin. No. Oh, oh, Bell, why? Come on, Harvick. Get in front of Bell. Yeah. No. Ugh. Damn it. He was doing... That just looks too silly. When the car passes by and it's just completely sideways. Wait, what? Oh, Bell. Bell and Chastain. That's two weeks in a row for Bell. I knew that that was going to be bad news with Bell coming up across the front of Ross Chastain. It looked like, it looked like a Bell was going to... Uh, I think it's good. Yeah, let's see that left front. There it is. So, Bell came up, I'm assuming. Oh, no. No. Oh, is Bell trying? That's not contact. Bell did that. That's Bell. That's all on Christopher Bell. Three, two, one, boogity, boogity, boogity. Let's go wrestling. I meant racing, but... Wrestling came out, and it's fitting I did that voice. So here we go. Here comes Harvick out front. That's There's my three picks all right there. Harvick, Bubba, and Larson. Going with Harvick. Oh, man. Whoa. What is that contact I see? Between. E e e not clear. Whoa, what the heck is going on back there? Like, everything's just normal up here, maybe getting some close to some co contact up here. Then all of a sudden, in the back, you see, like, four cars. Whoa! You cannot block that. Oh, that was close. Whoa! That's gonna be a crash! Whoa, Larson! Think about this. Oh! 
No. I was going to jinx Kevin Harvick, and he might have been close enough, but I was going to say, uh, think about this, Kevin Harvick, Bush Light Apple at Michigan. Here we go. Yeah. After two years, Kevin Harvick finally wins the race. Okay, this race... This race is a uh, good ol' uh, a 10 out of 10, actually, for the first time this season, probably.